Welcome back, guys. It's What's Up Wednesday. And what's up is I am just working my butt off trying to get my workbench done. Because I'm sick and tired of having to try and work on a mess. And I'm like working on my planer table. And I just got nowhere to work. Got to have my bench. So you can see I've got some pieces cut out here. A little wedge through tenon action going on here. So that's going to be sexy. These are the bench tops with the tenons going into the ends. Here's the ends of my bench right here. I just got to do all the joinery to lock in that frame. And uh, yeah, it's coming along. We get that done and then get the videos up and plans up and all that fun stuff. But as of right now, I'm just cutting out all the pieces. Got all my legs for the bench legs right here. And oh yeah, I made some progress upstairs. Let's check that out. So this is where we're at in the barn. Got it all vaulted, took out all the collar ties. So, feeling so much bigger in here. Oh, that was the right decision. And then I've got my wall up for my master bedroom in there. Got one of the ridge beams up. Just gotta brace it in place. Got birds flying around in here. And then, yeah, the bathroom's gonna be in here with a little laundry closet. So, we'll have walls coming right along the partition wall, kind of right beside the doorway there. I've got this end wall all framed in with a big window, beams, boom. So I've just got this one, this one back wall left to do here and a couple other sections of beam. So all in all, the framing's almost done and then we're going to get on to rough in on the wiring. And then I'm going to spray foam, insulate this, well not me, but I'll hire somebody to come in and do a spray foam that way I don't have to do all the vapor barrier and venting and whatnot so I'm gonna get some prices to see what the cost difference is I know it's a lot more expensive but the time and labor I would spend having to fur out all these rafters to get the proper depth for my R value and then put all the venting in and stuff and insulate all it it all by myself and then put vapor barrier up it's just like that's a lot of hours man hours of work so if it's just a couple grand more to do a have them come in and just spray foam it in then you know you got airtight quality high R value insulation totally worth the extra money in my opinion but uh, yeah we'll see how it goes so that's kind of what's up right now family's doing good I'm exhausted not getting much sleep but my little guy's growing and changing every day sweet little Bennett and yeah, I'm just loving life, man, so. Oh yeah, we got the logo for the Samurai Carpenter finalized, and we're just getting all the gear and apparel kind of designed and laid out, getting a store set up for that. So stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. If you guys could help us out by leaving a comment down below on like what kind of gear that you're looking for, whether it's <laughs> stickers, tool bags, just plain old t-shirts, you want long sleeves, you want the the classic samurai pullover fleece zip. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get one for myself anyways, but it's kind of just like my trademark. I wear it in pretty much every video. I know I don't wash it ever. So yeah, what kind of gear do you want guys? Leave your comments down below. Please like this video. We'll catch you next week. Samurai.